And here's the thing. Donald Trump supporters, uh, you'll be familiar with the story, storming the U.S. Capitol buildings yesterday afternoon to stop the confirmation of Joe Biden as the next president. Unprecedented scenes of violence, chaos playing out in America. Scores of protesters, and let's call it what it is, conspiracy theorists, managed to break into the building, roam the corridors of Congress as tens of thousands gathered outside in support of the U.S. president's false claim of an election victory. A woman died after being shot in the chest in the building. Police said she was part of a crowd that was breaking down the doors to a barricaded room where armed officers stood on the other side. City police also said three other people had died from medical emergencies during the protests. How did Trump respond to this? He said he loved them. He The man orchestrated the whole thing. He said he loved them. Should we have a li quick listen to... This is the kind of thing that they were trying to deal with. Have a listen to a disgruntled protester. I got maced. And what happened? You were trying to go inside the yeah, Capitol? Yeah, I, I made it like a foot inside and they pushed me out and they maced me. What's your name? Where are you from? My name is Elizabeth. I'm from Knoxville, Tennessee. And why did you want to go in? We're storming the Capitol. It's a revolution. You got maced. What did you want? A Hershey bar, for goodness sake? You got maced? It's kind of what happens when you storm the building that the vice president and various other dignitaries are sitting in. As far as conspiracy, and we've been in this territory, oddly, for the last couple of days uh, th throughout the course of the program, as far as conspiracy theories go, this one goes straight to the top of the league table. It's up there with the flat earthers and people who believe that man didn't land on the moon. There is literally no evidence for the claim that Donald Trump won this election by a landslide. It's a copper-bottomed lie. We have a suggestion... What have we got here? The counting machines were interfered with. An algorithm was altered. Tens of thousands of dead people apparently all voted, presumably for Biden. The lunatic suggestion that more people in the United States voted than there are people. Does anyone seriously think that something as obvious as that wouldn't be established and picked up? Ballots hidden under tables, votes driven across state lines in order to benefit another jurisdiction, votes set fire to, ballots torn up, ballots backdated. Trucks arriving in the middle of the night at polling stations with mysterious bundles of additional Biden votes. Accusations that people voted multiple times, according to some, 100 times. TV companies altering their graphics to benefit Biden. The list goes on. There's so many moving parts here. Are we expected to believe, firstly, just on this point, and we're going to clear this up with a fact checker from our producer, Ricky, who's been drilling down on all of these stories. Are we expected to believe that one shady group, I don't know, the security services, are responsible for all of these things happening simultaneously over the course of one night. I mean, the choreography would be insane. What would the rehearsals look like? Or were these coincidental efforts of different unconnected Biden supporters, lots of different people, all had the same idea and put their sneaky plans into action? Did they all miraculously play their part so effectively that they altered the direction of a landslide? This would be extraordinary. 0344 499 1000. And then there's the people involved, apparently, in this. So that's pretty much every politician, including most Republican politicians, every individual journalist. And let's not understate this. There are literally thousands of journalists across the globe following these kind of stories, apparently all in on the plan. Every newspaper, every TV outlet, the aforementioned security services, the police, even the general public down at the polling stations. You would need tens of thousands of people to be in on the fraud. Does anyone seriously think, by the way, when it comes to journalism, Anyone sit, just think about this. Does anyone seriously think that a journalist wouldn't bite the arm off anyone to have a story this big of mass corruption and fraud? I mean, if I got a phone call tomorrow from my man on Capitol Hill, go away, from my man on Capitol Hill, telling me he had empirical evidence that this election was so rigged that a landslide was reversed, does anyone seriously believe I would turn that down? Really? Man, this would be this would be bigger than Watergate. If I got if I got that story, I'd be up there collecting awards more regularly than Olivia Coleman, for goodness sake. They'd be clearing the airwaves for me if I got this story. Imagine I got the story. 
Ellen DeGeneres would be gone. Collins DeGeneres would be a shoe in I'm telling you. Larry King, Piers Morgan would be distant memories as a new show dominated the airwaves. The man who conquered the fraud tonight. CNN primetime. It's Collins on the Hill. Should there be Capital Collins? I don't know what we'd call it. This is bonkers. This is absolutely insane. We've now got Mike Pence, the vice president, Mitch McConnell, both diehard Trump loyalists saying this is over, Mr. President. It's over. He's now sort of said through gritted teeth, there'll be an orderly transition of power while simultaneously retaining and repeating the lie that he won the election by a landslide. This is a man who was clearly damaged. We're now in the throes of something else. You know, to begin with, he was disgruntled. Well, I'll wait and see what the full results look like. That's fine. And as this went on, uh, each lie was just repeated and repeated. And it was repeated so many times that these things begin to take hold. The phrase that I, I keep perhaps overusing about the lie is halfway around the world before the truth has even put its boots on. And that's what happened here. He threw everything at it. If you remember, Trump was was lying about this before the election. He was talking, he knew the writing was on the wall. It wasn't looking good. And with what was happening with COVID in the States and all manner of other issues, every poll suggesting this guy wasn't going to win. So he kind of sowed the seeds of doubt to begin with. And that's sort of all Trump really needed was just the doubt, right? He needed the doubt so he could go away. The only legacy he could hope for was, was doubt. Uh, so that he left with, in his mind, a, a scintilla of credibility because there'll be enough people who think he didn't really lose it was stolen from him and again I'm going to repeat the line stolen from it in a way in a fraud that would have to be so big so spectacular the likes of which the world has never seen the sort of thing you wouldn't dare accused have accused the Robert Mugabe regime of you'd be hard pushed to pin this one on Kim Jong-un for goodness sake that's how crazy and messed up this is. Uh, but he sowed all those seeds and they've been repeated and there's little snippets of things that, oh, that looks a bit suspicious. And have you heard about this? Somebody sent me something yesterday saying, look, the tele the they've altered the votes. Here, these were the Georgia elections yesterday. I don't know if you saw that clip of the votes going down for the Republican candidate. Well, they were just recalibrating the graphics on a TV programme, for goodness sake. That's all that was. If you really think that's how it works, that suddenly... The TV boys go, yes, yeah, shed in another few thousand, if you wouldn't mind, for the uh, Democrat. That's how they speak in Georgia. 0344 499 1000. Um, I want to hear from you. Mitch McConnell's point, I thought, was really good. So he's about as senior as a Republican as it gets. A, a loyalist to Mr. Trump throughout this. He said the votes, the courts and the states have all spoken. This election actually was not unusually close in recent history. And he talked about the elections of 1976, 2000 and 2004 were all closer than this one. If this election was overturned by mere allegations from the losing side, our democracy would enter a death spiral. We would never see the whole nation except an election again. Every four years, we would be a scramble for power at any cost. This was just a massive, the mother of all lies, invented by the president himself. A man so unhinged that he would allege seismic industrial scale fraud that led him to lose the seat in the Oval Office. 0344 499 1000. They always say if you're going to tell a lie, tell a big one. But he carries it on. He's carrying it on. This man is not stable. He was already a psychopath. And I know that I don't use that word to suggest he goes around with an axe uh, slaughtering people in the middle of the night. The psychopathic tendencies of people in high power is not unusual. He's not exclusive in that respect. This man, the, the lack of empathy, the entire backstory, if you've ever read anything of Trump's uh, story, his beginnings, where he went, how he built his empires, etc. Um, he's absolutely the epitome of a, a psychopathic big uh, business figure. Uh, but now it's going somewhere else. Psychosis has clearly set in. The man has gone mad. I, I think we can probably conclude that. 0344 499 1000. I think I, so I want your comments on all of this. Uh, but actually, I 
what I, because we didn't know this was going to happen. We talked about this over the last couple of days. Chris says Collins was doing the same yesterday afternoon, rubbishing President Trump before the protest got going. What is it about media lovers? Mate, he's the president of the United States. It's not your dad. Behave yourself, Chris. Oh three four 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 nine nine one thousand. I want comments on this. I also, but I want the bigger question about where does it leave America and American democracy, the view of America from around the world, and what are you making of those protests? Which you know, as now as Mike Graham said, now split off. Some people denying that it was even Trump supporters doing it. Oh, it was Antifa in disguise. Get out of it. Get in the bin, for goodness' sake. Oh three four 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 nine nine one thousand. 